Stimwalt here, another dark and darker tutorial video to fix the horrible stuttering that's happening. First, let's launch Blacksmith, which is the launcher for dark and darker, made by Iron Mace. Go to the settings and select game. You'll see a launch option. In there, you're gonna put in dash DX11, which stands for DirectX 11. So what we're doing is we're overriding dark and darker to use DirectX 11 with this launch option setting. So you can close it and reopen it, and it's that drop down arrow next to the blacksmith icon. Make sure that that DX11 is checked for your launch option. You can now launch the game if you like. I do want to check out one more setting that is in Windows. So you're going to go to the Start menu and you're going to type View Advanced Display Info. And what we're going to look at is your main monitor's refresh rate. In my case, it is 165 refresh rate. So that's the Hertz, the refresh rate of my monitor. I'm going to want to make sure that I cap my frames within the game to match my refresh rate. This prevents you from basically making your GPU work harder than, than it needs to because you can't even see frames above the refresh rate of your monitor. Also, don't forget to pick the right monitor. <laughs> so go ahead and jump into options in video in the game and you'll notice you can set everything visual quality to epic. You can do um, full screen or window, uh, borderless window. You can max your frame rate limit to 165, which is what I did because of my refresh rate. If you have a not as good of a system, you can set shadow to medium, texture quality stay at epic, and post and visual, you can put them at medium. For display mode, you can do full screen for max frames or windowed full screen to kind of reduce tearing and maybe crashing. Uh, max frame rate, again, matches your refresh rate of your monitor. If you have an NVIDIA card, you'll use DLSS, and you can pick between performance or quality. Performance is gonna give you more frames with less quality. And that's pretty much it. So go ahead and play the game. They will patch this in at some point, but you're gonna to have to put these settings in to override it and make it work. So have fun, I'll see you out there. If you wanna see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable notifications.